Hi, it's Julian from Adventure Bike Rider here at the uh, launch for the new, all new 1200 Tiger from Triumph. Um, and I have to say, what an imp what an impressive bike. Um, we're at the end of day two, which is why this this one, the uh, the more off road version, is covered in mud because we spent the whole day tra trail riding on it. But um, start, start, start going back to the beginning for for the bike, Triumph knew that they had to do the redesign on on, on the 1200. The previous one was kind of there, but it was a big heavy bike and a big heavy, heavy engine. And consequently, they've gone right back to the drawing drawing board with this one. This is a complete redesign. You know, apart from a few nuts and bolts here, here and there, the whole thing is abs absolutely new. For the new family, there's five variants. So the base model would be would, would be the, G, the GT. Um, that's without very many bells and whistles. Then we go to the G, GT Pro. Uh, and then, uh, which is the 20 litre tank version, and the GT Explorer, which is the premier premier class road based bike, and that will have uh, the, the the small smaller wheels, uh, so the 19 and 18 inch inch wheels. Um, and then on the other side, on the off road side, like this this one is, there's the uh, the Rally Pro, uh, and then the Rally Explorer. The Rally Explorer having the bigger bigger tank in the, in the same way as so the 30 litre tank, and realistically, that's the the, the the top top end model of that bike. Trump are really clear about the fact that, that what they're going for in this bike is BMW's share at the market. BMW have such a clear lead within this market um, that they have to have to target their for their efforts at the one that sell it sell it in the most. In the redesign, they, the main thing they've done, and which has made the most difference to the bike, is taking 25 kilos off this bike. That is so much. I mean, that's a bag of oversized luggage if you're, if you're going flying. An absolute massive amount of the bike. And that's made the bike so much more agile. The engine, engine itself is, is lighter. It's not such a big lump. So it means that they, they can actually move around the chassis, have a more agile chassis. The new chassis rails are, are slimmer, but they're much, much more like the, uh, the 900 Tiger. Um, in terms of the over, o, overall all weight they're also going to you're going to compare it against their nearest rival whoever that might that might be from uh, from from germany and this bike is 17 kilos lighter than the closest rival with a shaft drive shaft drive is important in in this sector and an awful lot of the people who are buying bmws like it because of because of that shaft drive well um, the, the chassis, as, as, as you, you can see, it is quite a radical change in design. Front end of the bike looking more or not lighter because rather than having the radiators at the front, they've moved them to, moved them to the side. A bit like an old fire salon used to be. So the radiators are here, means it's really nice and clear, clear at the front on there. Well, and in, ter in terms of actually the, set the setup your, for, for the road or off-road version, the road uh, version get the uh, alloy wheels and the off-road get, get the spoke wheels. In terms of the tech, they've gone full out, full out on that one. There's a brand new seven and a half inch, I think seven and a half inch, but you need to check the one. Uh, seven and a half inch uh, TFT screen, um, all the different different ride, riding modes, all the changeable ride, riding mode on there. They've not gone full el electronic suspension; it's semi-active suspension. You pick your various riding modes, and then it adjusts it to what they think you might want, and then you can vary it from there. It's also got skyhook technology, which keeps things roughly le level all, all the time, so you do not, don't have to think about it. And also, first for a, for a bike of, of this type is a, an automatic leveling. So when there's more lo load on the back, when some a passenger gets on the back, you don't have to fiddle with it. It sorts out there's a passenger at back. Stiff stiffens up the, up the bike so really very very impressive on that one in terms of the other tech they haven't they've stopped short of going for adaptive tr cruise control but they have gone for the the radar technology on the back so blind spot detection is there the little box at the back on the road based models will have will pick up if, when somebody's overtaking you inside and a little light on the bottom of but with the um, mirror flashes up on that has it turned turn out to be riding? Well, we did one day on, on the road and really a very long day, 176, kilo, um, 176 miles in, in one day. So a good chance to, to test it out. And for the road, we had the GT Pro, the GT Explorer um, and the, the, the Rally Explorer. Um, start, I started off on the, on the uh, G, GT Explorer. Really ni ni nice bike to ride, great position. The, the, the new T-plane uh, en engine, like the 900, gives that low down torque talk of, of a twin at the low, low revs and when you're really push, pushing the power. But then at the top end, it feels, it feels like a triple. Very enjoyable to ride. I then swapped onto the GT Pro. And with the smaller tank, it's actually, although it was only the, the tank size and the uh, position of the, uh, of the handlebars, actually quite a different feel to, feel to the bike. And in terms of actually trying to crack on, the GT Pro is probably a little bit easier 
easier because there's le le there's less to it, a little a little less bulk, a little less less size to it. That said, that big tank doesn't feel too big when you when you're sat on it. The uh, Rally Explorer on, on the road inevitably feels a little bit, little bit bigger, and if you get the one with the uh, full bars, bars on there, it's got that a touch of a feeling, but really impressive on, on the road. All day of riding and swapping between, between all three, you know, couldn't necessarily pick one, but I think, well, maybe, maybe I could. G GT Pro was the one, that, one that worked for me, but that's because I'm not necessarily riding big bikes all the time. Today we've been we've been out on on the trails and it'll be on, been on, on on the rally rally pro and it's properly set up for for, for off road. Now sometimes the biker look a little bit like they've got the ability, but it isn't doesn't quite translate. But I have to say, for three or four hours on these wonderful trails in Portugal, this bike has just impressed so so much. It is so stable, it is so tractable. It knows exactly where it's where where it's going when you're going around corners. There's no element of it pushing out. It comes equipped. One of the homologated options is the uh, the Carew tyres, and they are just so good in these conditions. Okay, this is not a, a wet uh, British British winter, and we're not testing it in those conditions. But over here on on dry trails, absolutely rock solid on 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 the front. Great traction on the back, but will kick out when you when you when you want want it to. So, in terms of how it feels on on the ride, you you know you're on the 1200, but it simply does not feel like it. That lack of weight and the, and the way they've got it balanced up, actually just feels so good you can just forget which bike you're on and get in, in, on and enjoy, enjoy the trail riding so between great road manners and absolutely impeccable trail manners what more would you want from an adventure bike <laughs> <laughs>